You Toy Collectible fans, Hot Toys time again. This is Fly Guy for TakeSushi.com. And we're giving you a look at the Joker 2.0 from Hot Toys. So this is the box. Um, there was a version of this obviously that's came out before. I'm fortunate I've got it and I'll show you the two in comparison. You can make up your own mind and see which one you think is better. This one is particularly popular because a lot of people missed out on it before the first time. So there is the a look at the packaging there. Some very nice uh, detail in there. You can just make out the Joker has basically scribbled some stuff there. I'm not even sure what it says. It just says ha ha ha. There you go. It's um, lots of H's and lots of A's which make up the uh, the logo. You can just a bit make that out. I did a very good job of focusing there. There we go. DX11. That's the front of the box. And we get that Joker laughing symbol, which was on the other one there before. The Joker's purple colours. And on the back, we've uh, got all the artists and the people involved. It's an adult collectible. There you go. It's not a doll. It's an adult collectible. Well, it should be at the price of these things. Uh, I got mine from shopforme.com.au, or local... Uh, hot toy supplier and a uh, good price it was compared to some of the other places because this thing's really expensive. Inside there's lots of stuff which I'm going to take you through but it's a very nice almost laughing joke or sorry the killing joke if you've never read the amazing comic book the style with the the writing all over it there but um, it's nicely done. It's very very heavy the box itself as such the paper has a little bit started to tear as soon as I turned it over so um, just watch how you open it if you want to keep it pristine. Now inside there's a ton of stuff. Um, one of the things you can set up is basically a diorama. I'm not going to set it all up here. But it's a diorama of the jail cell scene. And this is a piece of uh, cardboard, kind of laminated card. And uh, you've set, we'll put photographs and we have them already on our Facebook and Google Plus galleries. And go along and take a look at this. Because there's loads of different ways you can set up the figure. So I can't show you every instance of it. But it has this police cell detention scene and it comes with a table, a chair and a lamp and all sorts of accessories. So you can make this up and this uh, part is inside the box. I don't really have a great deal of room so I don't have the uh, space to basically set these dioramas up. In the second layer of the box, way deep down underneath you get all of these amazing accessories. And just before I show you them, I should mention, here's the instruction booklet. And it shows us a little bit more about uh, the Joker itself. Uh, he comes with lots of the creative people who've uh, been behind him. JC Hong, again, that fantastic sculptor. And there is the uh, detail on the pairs, the, pe the eyeball rolling system. Interchangeable head sculpts, we've got a laughing head sculpt and a standard head sculpt. I'll show you the difference in those two there. How to get these clothes on and off, uh, all sorts of differences in how you want to display them. And, how you should take the clothes off, how you shouldn't. It's it's a little bit fiddly if I was you, so uh, watch what you're doing. Other bits and pieces in there. There's the desk. He's got little uh, blades that go in his shoes, if you remember the sequence. Um, the pencil that goes into the uh, tabletop, how to put that on. There's the desk. It's even got a little plug that lights in for the lamp, even though it doesn't light up. And uh, there's the diorama piece I was talking about. You can set up and recreate the... Uh, the scene where the uh, Joker and Batman are uh, together and getting interrogated. Comes with one of these horrible big stands, I hate these things, uh, and not a flat simple stand, so it comes with this horrible light up one which doesn't really do much, and uh, that's it, it just goes straight on to the instructions in uh, Japanese or Chinese, and that's it. Now, let's get a look at the other stuff underneath, as I said, so it comes with one table, and there's uh, where the uh, pencil will go in, but it's scraped and scored as if it was a silver metallic table. It's even got a little uh, plug point underneath for the lamp to plug into. It's got rubber on the feet. It's uh, it's pretty solid. So um, that's what you get. It's like getting a little bit of Ikea furniture inside. So it's also got a few other bits and pieces in here. Sorry, there's stuff everywhere. There's so much stuff in this figure. Uh, with this figure, I should say. So you got loads of fun to set this thing up if you want to. There's that stand that I'm not a fan of. As you can see, it's a little dirty and grimy, so it looks authentic, metallic, but um, not my favourite. And even with putting all those lights in there, the lights aren't that strong. It doesn't create a, a great impression, I think. What else do we have? We have a submachine gun, which is in the uh, sequence towards the end of the movie. And 
Hot Toys, of course, the lever cocks back and forth on a spring. Uh, this will probably remove, yes it does, and of course it's got the little uh, bullet in the bottom. So a fully working almost submachine gun. So there we go, again great detail, just got enough gun metal, you can barely see it, but it's just enough on there to make it look authentic. So very well done by Hot Toys as usual. He's got a shotgun which he's got in his hand, which I'll show you in a minute. I'm not going to take all these out because there's just tons of them, but you can see a little deck of Joker cards, a good 20 or 30 or so cards, if not more, uh, tons of them, all different individual designs. We've got uh, piles of money, and if you can just, you can't really see it, it's incredibly small. I'll try and focus it. It's got tiny little Joker eyes and red lipstick. So it's got black uh, eyes around the uh, Benjamin Franklin and a uh, little red lipstick there to uh, mark the Joker. So it's Joker money. Pretty fantastic. You get a set of uh, handcuffs and you get a potato peeler knife, uh, his flick knife, uh, another knife, which I don't remember, another potato peeler looking knife, uh, a pencil and the uh, little knife for his boots. So he's a lovely chap, the Joker, isn't he? Very nice. Uh, what else do you have? The lamp that goes on to the table. One lamp. Again, I really feel like we're going shopping to Ikea here. This would probably be called something like bizarre, like, I don't know. You know what Ikea's like. The names mean nothing. So there we go. One lamp that goes in and that sits on top of the table. And we've also got one other weapon, which is this uh, pistol-like thing, which again, it's hot toys, so it cocks back and forth on a spring. And of course, the bullets come out. It's got a bullet in the bottom as well, so lots and lots of things to go with the Joker. So that's all the kind of weapons and bits and pieces when I get this out of the way, there's tons of stuff. Don't worry about it folks, I know but we're just coming back. So also on the first layer, the top layer of the uh, package, you can just see we have hands. Give the Joker a hand. So lots of different designs uh, pretty much in there, there we go. Gloves, fingers, pointing, fists, gripping hands, spare replaceable connection points for um, the figure itself. And that's pretty much all we've got in there. That's just some silica gel. Now, what else do we have? We have one chair. There you go, one interrogation chair. It just it looks the part. So you can get a little bit of slight padding -y plastic that goes on top of it. Attention, even the scrapes and scores on the chair scuff marks down at the feet that's detail for you baby but then again it is not a cheap figure uh, I think for maybe this was about 269 or something like that and it's already going for like a hundred dollars more if not more than that on uh, eBay so he's a very very popular character yep just scrapes and scratches one chair uh, one laughing head there we go, let me get a better close up of that for you. Replace that with me. Look at the teeth. So, again, all that detail on the hair, on the face, all the makeup, and just all the crevices and cracks on his face. It's incredibly realistic. So again, fantastic job by GC Hong and the guys. Not the head I'm going to use on the figure. Talking to DC the other day, he got the same figure and he was saying the same thing as well. It's not one we really fancy. And there's no eyeball system in this because obviously his eyes are closed. But uh, not really working for me. But it's a great one to swap out and display if you wanted to. He looks the part with it. Now let's get a look at the figure. I'm going to try and use this box to give you a bit of a or give me a bit of a bench to display this. Let's have a look at this guy. Now I'm using an old Star Wars stand, a Hot Toys stand, uh, just to kind of uh, stabilize this. There we go. Let's see if I can uh, get that a little closer for you. There we go. So, uh, again, eyeball rolling system in the figure. Uh, there's his weapon that he comes with, the pump action shotgun. I'll pull it a little bit. I should show you a bit better. There we go, one pump action shotgun, which pumps. 
I can barely just see it, but it does. Um, I'll, show, I'll show you and compare it to the other uh, figure in just a minute. The jacket is incredible suede-like material. You can just see the camera picking up parts of it. It's incredibly smooth and expensive feeling, uh, as it should be again. It costs a lot of money. The inside of the jacket is lined, uh, obviously for uh, all the uh, movie accuracy there. All of his um, pockets and details underneath. Let's have a look. The colours are much more accurate than the other uh, figure. The green waistcoat's absolutely on the money in there. All the little buttons work. Everything is, in fact, I think the buttons work. E no, the little studs. So again, and of course, he's got an eyeball rolling system here in the back of his head, which if I remove, you'll see. And it's much more hidden this time than the previous version. There we go. One uh, slightly rude joker, then you uh, pop in the, or move the joystick around, there's the back piece that replaces, just a magnet holding it in there, let me just pop that back on, you'll see it from the side, so magnet at the bottom, it just kind of hides behind his green locks, you should see when I turn it around, it's pretty invisible, it's not bad, but again, who's looking at the back of the figure, so again a fair bit of detail there. Let me just give you a look at the lower half of them. As is important to see his socks, because they're uh, full on Joker socks. The shoes are much more accurate to the movie, uh, much more kind of dirty suede. The previous release was um, a more shiny shoe. Again, I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, I loved the way they've uh, went back and managed to just tidy this figure up even more. I mean, it is a bit extreme having two of these, but um, I know Hot Toys now, and I know that if you don't buy them, they just go nuts in price. So, uh, so this is the older one. We never actually get around to properly reviewing this or giving it a, a decent kind of review. And let's uh, compare side by side there. Get a better job of this. And hopefully, you can see the difference there on them. I don't know if I shine more light on it, I'll maybe make. A difference. So um, probably not actually. You'll see. So the one with the shotgun up in the ear is the one which is um, the newer version. So the older version here, sorry, the older version here has uh, solid white makeup, whereas this one is more a kind of uh, it, it's definitely toned down as you can see. It's a much more washed out version of them. So I'm still like a little bit inclined to, to like this one here. I love the. Um, the grenade uh, piece inside the jacket, which is an incredibly intricate piece of Hot Toy workmanship and thread, let me tell you. But you can see immediately the difference in the colour uh, purple, not the movie we're talking about here, uh, no Whoopi Goldberg, but uh, you can see the difference here. This purple is incredibly purple and incredibly green, whereas this one is just a little bit more dingy and kind of, I actually preferred it a little bit. So it's amazing the difference you can get between the two figures uh, overall. Even the hair on uh, this uh, other version here, the older version, is uh, quite a bit different from uh, the newer figure. If I turn that round to have a look at it, you'll see, hopefully you can see, the detail on this guy here. Tons of loose hair and lots of kind of intricate details. This one's basically a matted piece and you can see the outline of the uh, eyeball rolling system a whole lot uh, more. So. Look, we're getting into micro details here. I did promise to show you the shoes, the difference between them. You'll see the older one is a shinier shoe, where the newer one has a kind of more matte finish, which is much more accurate to the movie. So, um, no socks on the old one. From memory, it's uh, no crazy socks. Oh, tell a lie, they do. Crazy socks on him, too. So, loads of detail. I mean, they're both great figures, absolutely fantastic. They both have a place. And given it took me so long to get this one, uh, I'm not going to get rid of them in a hurry, but uh, the great Joker's figures. Hot Toys Rock, I have to say, they do an amazing job on these guys, and uh, in particular this new Joker 2.0, this DX version, is uh, incredibly good. And again, with that extra head, you've got a completely different uh, vibe going on here for uh, Joker. So, uh, 
Yeah, what do you think? Is this worth your cash or not? Apparently, uh, everybody's saying yes because he's selling it everywhere and um, he's incredibly popular. So, uh, it seems to be the case. But we'd love to know what your thoughts are. Are you checking or collecting uh, hot toys? Love to know. Leave a comment below. Tell us or join us on, you know the drill by now, facebook.com slash techsushi, twitter.com slash techsushi and on Google Plus as, surprisingly, techsushi. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you subscribe, that's good because then uh, you've got lots of great Hot Toys videos and determine whether you want to uh, buy lots of products, G.I. Joe, Marvel and more, uh, and they'll come straight into your inbox. And that's it. So, uh, yeah, leave a comment below and we shall see you soon. Thanks.